Hi guys, it's day two of UK's Strongest Man this year. I'm just um, hiding in the VIP tent at the moment from the rain. It's um, coming down, not ideal. Happened last year, we had like glorious sunshine leading up to the competition and now we've got some rain coming down, but hopefully it'll dry up later for the guys to get started. So day two, we've got six guys left in each group, three events and then the eliminator event where the bottom three guys, like yesterday, will battle it out on the car hold and the winner will get through to the final tomorrow. So today they are starting with the anchor and chain drag, uh, sorry, it's the um, duck walk and anchor and chain drag. So they've got to carry a 200 kilo duck walk, 20 meters, and then the anchor and chain they need to drag back. It's a very heavy event. I did it in 2017, actually won the event, but it's an extremely heavy anchor and chain and um, that year no one finished it. So <laughs> it's, it's one of those events where it's just 75 seconds of torture. Uh, they're all going to be pretty knackered after that. Um, the next event is going to be the dumbbell. I'm not 100% sure on the weight, but I'm guessing it's around 90 kilos um, dumbbell for reps. So from the floor up to the shoulder and press. Uh, I think it's 75 seconds that they've got to do as many reps as possible. And then the last event is the Cerberus Strength uh, Sandbag Toss, which is five sandbags getting heavier and heavier um, over the bar. Uh, quite a fun explosive event and it's going to be quite cool to see which guys are good at certain events today um, some really good performances yesterday a few records were broken lots of pbs hit so we're expecting more of the same today should be a lot busier with the crowd today as it's um saturday people are off work and um it's just going to be exciting to see who gets to the final um thanks for watching the videos guys been reading some of the comments from yesterday so i'm glad you're enjoying the little vlogs and um I'll let you know how day two goes. So Glenn Ross is just going through some of the rules with the athletes at the moment. This is one of the events, the dumbbell event that they got today. Just making sure that they all understand the rules. The anchoring chain is on grass. That's going to be interesting today. Last time I did it was on concrete. Um, be interesting to see if this rain affects that, it's going to be a bit softer. You never know how... The surface is the kind of hardest thing, with like things like truck pulls and drags, surface is more important than the weight sometimes, and um be interesting to see how hard it is on the grass for these guys. Um, come and get a better look at today's events. There's the dumbbells. And then we've got the duck walk into anchor and chain drag it's going to be a nasty event the floor feels a bit slippy as well so it's going to make it even harder i think we're going to see quite a few guys falling on their asses today and the guys are over there just trying out the sandbags oh got it over Oh, Paul making that look easy. The referee, Mr. Zadrinus. Having a chat with Hixie. Hixie, what's the, what's the heaviest bag that you've got to use today? 55. 55 pounds? Okay. I'll just throw it in my flip flop. <laughs> was it alright? Yeah, it was easy, easy. Good. Big Gav. Some crazy. Yeah, it's going to get heavier, I think, for each. The referees will be strict. Dense. Yeah. Like the sand isn't moving. Yeah. Which isn't bad. Is this is this the third event? Yeah. Third event. Third event. Cool. Hopefully, right. hopefully we won't get too much more rain. <laughs> They'll get heavier. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. Pa, pa, how heavy are these bags? These bags. See what heavy this bag is. <laughs> DJ Danny getting thrown about again. We're having a discussion about the dumbbell, guys. Yeah. You got little little girly hands there. Have you? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. Like with the dumbbell, the, the thickness of the handle makes a. Is it the one out there? No. It's about four inches thick. It's really? A, yeah, it's a bit thick. Oh, right is now. it Glenn's? Oh, I've, yeah, I've used it before. Yeah. It's horrible. So, I did it. I did it in 2017. We had the same dumbbell. But yeah, um, I was just trying cleaning it up now. I think you struggled, didn't they? So. Yeah. It's been an interesting event. Mark Presti though, Mark Deans. I think... He's one of the best Sean Presti's in Wales, I think. With the dumbbell. With the dumbbell. Oh, yes. 
I mean, yeah. Aaron Page and myself were joint first on it. Yeah, we did eight. We did eight. Yeah. But um, some, some guys only did like two or three, and yeah. some guys didn't get any. So it's it's getting used to the the, the, the awkwardness of it. How how heavy how is that one? It's a different different type of dumbbell. Well, that's yeah, probably harder because it's so small. The handle's easier because it's smaller because the heads are so small. I think I remember from doing the heavy one. It kind of feels weird because you, you look at the size of it. It's quite intimidating. Yeah. You pick it up, it doesn't feel that heavy. Yeah. You just need to make sure you're really aggressive with it. Try and get it up to your shoulder. As yeah, as do you have to clean every rep from the floor? No, you can bring it to your shoulder, but okay. to be honest, I'm going to clean every rep. It's, Sometimes uh, it's easier. Yeah, if you lose your balance, you're going to fall asleep. No, I think it's. it's yeah. With the congestion, you've got to really take it. Yeah. Rob, how are you feeling after yesterday? Oh, tired. Yeah? <laughs> tired, yeah. I was impressed with your um, deadlifting yesterday, it was good. Yeah, I am um, 20 kilo PB. Awesome. So, I'm happy with that league. So, you're the junior UK strongest man. Yeah. 22 years old. Youngest guy in the competition, and you won the group yesterday. Yeah, um, you feel good? Yeah, I feel confident now. I was trying to avoid that deadlift eliminator. So. Yeah, no one, no one wants to be in the eliminator. So, how, how did it feel oh, yesterday? Oh, it was horrible. I hope you don't mind yeah. me posting the video up of you. No, on it. no, it's it was, right. I was just impressed with the effort that you put into it. Oh, no, it was disgusting. Uh, to be honest, the grip wasn't a problem. It's the biceps are pulling and. Yeah, it's a horrible it's, event for people watching. I mean, it's not like the grip's not an issue because you've got the straps. Yeah, but everything feels like it's been pulled off. Yeah. And then you sort of you try and like adjust your movement because the pain's getting so bad in like yeah. one area. You try and uh, distribute it somewhere else. I find with all events like that, whether it's holds, front hold side, I shake straight away. So I'm exactly the same. I was saying to some of the guys, some guys look quite comfortable. Yeah. I'm like you. I'm like looking like I'm going to drop it straight yeah, away. Well, within the first but, 20 seconds, my grip went down to fingertips, and I found that easier. Yeah. But I looked across at Sean. He wasn't even shaking, so I started panicking a bit. Well, then he went I looked straight at down. Sean. I I said on the video, I was like, you yeah. look solid. But um, you're exactly like I am on that kind of, I look in agony right away. Yeah. But I was very impressed with your, your determination. Oh, I'm, and I'm not going on there today, there's no way Good man, so you're gonna, oh, gonna yeah. avoid it today? Oh, it's possible, yeah. Good Definitely. man, best of luck, all right, uh, it's good to see you. Okay, then. Event one of day two, duck walk into the anchor chain drag. This is going to be interesting, it's still a bit wet on the floor. Alright, this is where it's going to get tough. Nice. Scott Mill coming through well in the middle. This is good. Scott Mill doing amazing. Sky to her, yes. Well done, Scott. Andrew's still going. This is a tough event. Every bit of town here, Bob, they need to work hard. Just Giving it everything. Man, he's in agony. Hopefully, just exhausted and not injured. Yes! That's effort. Love it. Is that 
Don't think he's gonna go to the line there, Mark. He does not referee say no. Currently, it was after the whistle. Good effort. Heat two, group two. Let's see, Chris and Rob. I'm moving nicely. It's in the big song. Raise the room, some more wins. This is going to be a big matchup. It's going well. Rob Fitz, Chris Morgan, they come at the same time. And they are now on to the anchor. And Greg, look at the size of the Kings. It's Chris Morgan. This Rob Spence coming through brilliantly. This is fantastic by Rob Spence. I'm impressed with how much this kid digs in. Really good performance. It just shows you how hard it is with Hicksy struggling on the far end. It is a horrible event, trust me. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Group one, heat three, par against Paul. Oh, getting into it now. Oh, it looks awkward when he doesn't put it to the floor. It's going to be better then. Good rep before. Oh, I'm going left handed. Nope. I'm not sure how many reps. It's hard to tell if you got disallowed any, but I think Carl won that one fairly comfortably. See if we can find out how many reps. Seven reps. Good, good score. Hixie versus Mark Jeans, this should be a good one. Good rep for both guys. Good by Mark. Hicks is struggling, not like I don't know what's up with him. He's normally pretty good on dumbbell. I don't know if he's got some kind of small injury with that big sleeve on his arm. That was better. Mark doing very well. Come on, Hicksy! There you go. Come on, Hicksy! See if we can find the scores. Five for Graham. Seven for Mark. Well done, Mark. Andrea Thompson attempting a world record 100 kilo, 100 kilo log for reps. Come on, 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 come on
Go on, Andrea. Yes. There's one. She needs six for the record. That's a good. Come on, Andrea. Good. Oh, one away from the equal in the record. Lean is getting harder. Come on, one more. Come on, Andrea! Ah. Hicks, come on! Come on, Andrea! Oh, good effort. Great effort there, Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Oh, Andrea. You know what, the kids taking on Lawrence Dixon. Yeah, Andrea on the other side. Girls against boys. It's the wags. <laughs> How are you doing? You alright? Slide in the road, look, you have to stay on. You won't let you watch this guy. Okay. Okay, guys, hold on to your hands. Hold on to your hands. Are you ready? Take the stand. Come on, guys. Oh! Lawrence is laying the side down. The girls win! Lawrence! Dixon! Well, heat, uh, heat one, sorry, Heat two. Paul Benton against Andrew Flynn. Excellent with the first one. Oh! One of the things with this event, you can waste his energy by throwing it high enough, but not getting it over. Oh! <laughs> He's stuck it up there. <laughs> Paul's bag is stuck on there. Andrew Flynn, who got a year on it? Just over 20 seconds, I believe. 15 seconds now. I wonder what they're going to do about that. Probably got that 10, less than that, we're watching the clock, and it ain't them. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Hixie versus Rob Spence. Time for Hixie to switch it on. Referees are doing it. Woo! 
Olympics, he just launching these over. On to the last one. There you go, switches on when he needs to. Well done, Hicksy. Come on, Rob. Power Dwyer getting some treatment backstage. How are you feeling, Pa? Good. You won your group? Won the group, yeah. How's the hand? Um, it's a bit swollen. And what happened? I dropped the uh, pole, pushed it on top of it. It's still a bit swollen there. How did it affect you today? Was it alright? Um, no, it's fine, yeah. Obviously, it didn't affect me too much. You think you'll be alright for tomorrow? Yeah. Ready to, oh, ready, to <laughs> ready to smash it. Ready to prove you wrong. Good man. <laughs> Good man. No, skin, you love my hands. <laughs> you got your new physio working on you now. <laughs> Big dirty spot that <laughs> So we have group one on the deadlift hold now. Who wants it the most to get through to the final? Scott, Andrew, and Ryan in the middle. I think Scott has to lift first as he's got the lowest amount of points. Okay, up goes Ryan. Up goes Ryan Buddy. And up goes Andrew Flee. Oh, and here's that. Eight seconds can be a major thing here, Martin. Yes, it could have been. Definitely could have been the boys. They put themselves in the zone again. And they've set the alarms up, Martin, again. The alarms are ringing them. Let's hope they're not ringing in his head right now. Andrew Flynn. Whoever can hold on the longest gets to the final. Head down. The most bowed and he's, he's not moved. His posture hasn't moved at all. No, all three looking good. No pants from the red. He's shaking already. Oh, Sandals down. No pants. Doesn't want to go out. It's not He's looking strong. He's breathing. Who wants it the most? Ryan Bennett. Really focused. As is Andrew Flynn. He's looking strong. Wow, this is unbelievable. So no one's the boys. Come on. Let's go to Yeah, come on. He will be the first to drop. Who will be going out? Me. Impressive. <laughs> this is good. Andrew looking over and winking. Impressive. Oh. Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. This is amazing. Ryan Bennett, he really is digging in him. Look wow, come on guys. Will it be Scott, will it be Ryan? You really can't come, come on this. guys, fight it. He wants it, he wants to be the final. Is it your time to show? Wow. Ask yourself the question. Going to the final. Ryan looking confident. Oh, fantastic by Scott. Man, that was impressive. Scott is in the final. Well done. He's going to be ruined for the final after that, but he's in the final. <laughs> well done. For group two, we so have Matt Diamond, in. Chris and Morgan, and Rob Spence. Spence. And for those of you that saw my um, video yesterday, Matt is the guy that collapsed and won his group. To go through this again is, is just agony. But we'll see if he can dig deep Who's like he did yesterday. Come on, let's get behind him. Oh, 
the drillers ready to blow. Here we go. Here we go. Two of them up at the same time. Straight Rob up. has a slight advantage. Rob goes up now. And now it's just dig deep. Here we go now. The princess is in the zone. And the alarms are away again, Mark. Yeah. The alarms are ringing. And I'm sure they're ringing when the heads down. Yes, they are. In the zone, but listen. Every second is almost like the alarm going up. Yes, it is. Maybe they put themselves in a, in a nice place then. Maybe a daisy field down for the heads right now. Or skipping for a park. Or I'm not sure where you put yourself with a hole in that sort of way. But it's still no pain. No pain. And Rob Spence is stating, oh, I'm not 23. Young man. Uh, Rob down first. Spence, uh, He's put so much effort in today. I think he's just expended everything. Had nothing left in the end, but he's been very, very impressive. And he's only going to get better and better. Now who wants it more? Matt Diamond giving it everything again. Chris is a determined man. Who wants it the most? They're both shaking. Come on, guys. Amazing effort again. Well done, Chris, into the final. And they're both going down. Wow. Hi, guys. So we're just wrapping up day two. Uh, another great day. Some fantastic performances. Some of the guys absolutely going to absolute exhaustion on a few events. Um, but I'd say, you know, the experienced guys starting to come through now. Um, so... The guys that are into the final, we've got Para, Dwyer, Hixie. Um, Paz picked up a small hand injury, but he seems okay, and he, he looked quite you know, a lot more comfortable today. Hixie saving a lot of energy, um, put the work in that he needed to do on the sandbag toss, which he really kind of looked in a league of his own on that. Um, he was very, very explosive, very good, and proved, you know, when he needs to switch on, he can, and I'm sure tomorrow we'll see him switch on properly. Um, really awesome performance by Chris Morgan to get to the final. Uh, very impressive to see. Um, some some up and down events for him. Dumbbell did probably didn't go as well as he would like for such a big presser. He's a very very big log lifter, but the log is in the final, so he'll be, I'm sure, hoping to prove what he can do at pressing on that event. Um, another guy that worked damn hard today, Scott Milne. He came through the eliminator as well. Um, he was actually in the bottom position, I think. He had to pick the car up first out of everyone and held it on, held on to it for over two and a half minutes. Um, absolutely amazing performance. And like I said yesterday, from a fan's perspective, it was amazing to see. I think from a competitor's perspective, he's going to be ruined tomorrow, you know. And the guys that obviously didn't have to do these um, extra events they're going to feel good and confident that they're going into the final. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough event. Three, three events, uh, sorry, three days of events takes it out of you. And you want to be as fresh as possible in that final. I think being beaten up like that, it, it's not a position I want to be in. But obviously, depending on who you are, you've got to kind of, you know, use a tactic. You've got some of the guys have to go flat out to try and get there. There's other guys that will be saving energy. Um where they can but still three days in a row it's going to be tough on everyone um jonathan kelly had a very good day today got through comfortably paul benton looked really really solid had a really weird kind of thing happen on the, the sandbag throw his last bag got stuck on the barrier um luckily he'd done enough to make sure he got through to day two uh, sorry day three so he didn't bother re-attempting he was going to be given another attempt if he if he needed it luckily for him he didn't and he's just looking at saving energy now um, Gav built on the big Welsh lad, proving it. He's improved over the last year. He looks massive, um, solid performance. I was a little bit disappointed in his carry and drag. I thought he'd be a bit better with his body weight, but maybe a lack of experience on certain events. And um, I had a little chat with him, and he said he just 
his technique was wrong and he felt a bit gassed on it. It was a tough event. Lots of people kind of falling over, collapsing on that one. Um, and finally, Mark Jeans, uh, another Welsh man into the final. So it's going to be a good final. Um, I'll stand by my prediction from the start. I think Hicksy's going to be very, very hard to beat. I don't even think he's switched on yet. I don't think he's got out of fourth gear. Um, he's kind of, you know, he, he's kind of just cruised. He, he pulled a 400 kilo deadlift, but he's got more in him. He pushed hard on the, the sandbags today, but everything else he's been holding back, if I'm honest. Um, he's done enough to get through, which is all you need to do. Now he needs to prove um, my prediction right tomorrow, and otherwise I'm going to sound pretty stupid. As I know Power will be hungry to hold on to his title and all these, these other guys will be fighting to take off points where they can. It's five events tomorrow. Um, we have a log for Max. They have the car roll, which is a really cool, exciting event. Um, truck pull, Atlas Stones and the Super Yoke. So five events to decide who's going to be the winner of UK Strongest Man. I will bring as much backstage kind of footage to you as possible. Uh, I'll try and get some more interviews with the guys as well, see how they're all feeling. But for now, it's been a long day. I've been up on my feet for two days now. I must admit my foot's kind of starting to hurt. Met loads of fans today, which was brilliant. Really enjoyed meeting you all. Um, and for people that come tomorrow, I look forward to meeting you guys too. But for now, we'll leave it at that. We've got Parr and Hicks. are going to be challenging each other for this year's title of UK Strongest Man. Take it easy.